everybody. Um, today I'm going to have a few really easy tweaks you can do for The Witcher 3 to increase performance, make it look a little bit better, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, just a disclaimer, this, um, this video is being created for version 1.0.5 of The Witcher 3, so if there's a patch or an update, it may revert these changes, or it might, cha it might do something to these changes to make it look different or not, I don't know, but, um, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your, there's two files you want to find in The Witcher folder, so let's get there. So you're going to want to go to your computer, and wherever The Witcher 3 is installed, if you have it in Steam, then it'll be in the Steam folder, Steam apps, Common, and it'll be here. If you installed it through good old games, um, it'll usually be in Program Files x86. Scroll down, and you'll see The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now, once you get into The Witcher 3 main folder, you're going to want to go into Bin, then Config, and then Base. Now, these are the folders that are basically all the graphical options you see in game that you can mess around with. Now, um, the first thing we're going to mess with is the NVIDIA Hairworks setting. So, if you use NVIDIA Hairworks, you know, even if you have a 980, you might notice some FPS loss when you turn it on. Now, one of the settings in here is you want to search for Hairworks AA level, and if it should say equals 8. Essentially, that means that NVIDIA Hairworks renders every hair on uh, everyone's head, monsters, and then it actually applies anti-aliasing to it, which really hammers your performance. So, if you use Hairworks and you want to try to get a little more performance out of it, then you can lower this setting to whatever you want. Personally, I'll leave it at 2, because I don't notice a graphical difference in game, but I do notice a couple of FPS gained. So you're going to change that and save it. Okay, so the next tweak we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to change a setting called um, MIP Texture Bias. This setting changes the way textures are rendered slightly um, right here. It's, it's also in the same rendering.ini file. That's where the hairwork setting was. That's where texture MIP bias is. Now, this setting is usually defaulted to 1. If you change this to 0... Now, this is different for everybody. If you change it to 0, it could show your texture setting in-game as low or something weird. Don't touch that. Leave it at whatever it says, because once you change the texture MIP bias, it's going to show a different setting in-game. When you set it to zero, essentially what it does is it'll lower the shimmering you see on textures. Um, it could also... you might see less artifacts on the screen, like little things that don't look right, distant terrain might look weird, but if you set it to zero, it, it can fix problems. Some people I've noticed say it doesn't do anything, it might even, it might even, it might cause an issue or two, but it's something you can mess around with. So, um, per, I have it set to zero, and I notice nothing in game that, uh, would make me want to change it back to one. So, I set it to zero, and it is good to go. Save, and then you can close it. Now, the next setting I want to set is... Um, now, this is a personal preference setting. <clears throat> um, when you... Now, when you go into the Witcher Sense mode, you zoom in really close behind Geralt's head a little bit, and everything's all blurry and gray. And honestly, I think it's... Really, per personally, for me, that whole blurry and gray stuff makes it really hard to see. To see what's... Even, even though you see bright red things you're supposed to look at. It's, a, it's annoying. I don't like looking at it. So let's say you want to turn that off. You'll still zoom in behind his head, but there'll be no blur and there'll be no like crazy gray overtone. Now if you want to turn all that off, you're going to want to open gameplay.ini and you're going to see motion sickness focus mode. 
its default is false. If you set it to true, then you will no longer get the blurry gray outline around the screen when you go into the the Witcher sense mode. That's a personal preference if you want to do that. You know, I do it because I like having it off. Now, the last thing I want to change, this is for people who have NVIDIA graphics cards. Right-click on your NVIDIA uh, on the desktop, go to the NVIDIA control panel, and give it a minute. Okay, now you're going to want to go to Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings. It'll take a minute to pop up. Now you're going to want to go to The Witcher 3. It should be at the very close to the bottom. If it's not there, click Add. Now if it's not there, click Add, and it should be in the list of recently used programs. Okay, so you have it opened up right here. Um, if you set anisot anisotropic filtering to 16x, it you know it, it might be a placebo effect, but personally I feel like it might make the textures look a little bit better. I could be wrong, but it basically brute forces it to run... It, it'll brute force textures to filter at 16x, which is better quality, might cost some performance, might, you might lose a couple FPS, but it's better quality. Now, the next setting you're going to want to change is maximum pre-rendered frames. Basically, this setting will... It, it tells the video card how many frames to render ahead of time. If you set it to 1, then it'll render less frames ahead of time, and you should, the, you should get more FPS in general. You might get more input lag with the mouse moving, and you, may, you might get slight input lag by doing this, but this should help with FPS by setting it to 1. If you're not comfortable changing it, then leave it. Personally, I feel like it helped. Um, the next setting you want to change is power management mode. You're going to want to set it to prefer maximum performance. Essentially, when you open the game up, it'll always have your video card running at full speed, so it won't dip or fluctuate very frequently. It's running maximum speed all the time. And those are the tweaks I have at the moment for The Witcher 3. If there's any more in the future, I'll make another video. If things change, then I'll fix this one. Um, I hope this helped anybody at all. Um, thank you for watching it. Leave some feedback on the comments below. And uh, have fun hunting. <laughs>